Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local and not so local music and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I'm checking out another live show. This time, I'm finally going to Eagles Airy Hall in Henderson to catch some amazingly heavy bands. I don't know what I expected from Eagles Airy Hall, but I was definitely in for a few pleasant surprises. So jump in, everyone, because we're headed to Hendertucky to the Room 6 Mobile! This video is brought to you by Select a Ticket. We'll hear more about them later. For now, let's get on to today's video. Before kicking things off, I just wanted to say I'll be reviewing Eagles Airy Hall as a live music venue in a future video, so uh, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't uh, miss out on that one. While you're down there, feel free to like, share, all the good things. It'll help out the channel, and I appreciate it. Incidentally, if you'd like to be reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using my email address or the Room 6 social media link down in the description. That's also where you'll find all sorts of ways to contact me and help support the channel. Thanks! This show was the last night of a tour, so the energy was high from both the audience and the musicians. The first act of the night was Travelers, who I had just interviewed that day. I'll put their interview link down in the description. We had a good time. The small but growing crowd showed immediate appreciation and interaction for this talented local four-piece. Their set was full of dynamic tempo changes and solid breakdowns with a little electronica elements mixed in for good measure. Coming up next was Everglade, another four-piece band, but this one was out of Reno. Specializing in melodic and guttural vocals, fused with a sound that was a little more aggressive than Traveler's, but still had the same feel with a mix of influences and time changes on display. They keep the crowd guessing as to what would come next. The third act of the night was A Moment's Notice, hailing all the way from the Bay Area city of Sacramento. This five-piece band's set was chock full of brutal breakdowns mixed with almost emo-tinged melodies. While this made them a little less moshy than most of the other acts of the night, they were still heavy and awesome. Next up was another local act in the form of Retrograde. Keeping things slightly soft, <laughs> this band managed to still get a mosh pit going. Their set was a nice palate cleanser as their singer started breaking the fourth wall and mixed things up with the crowd. Coming up next was Silent Speaks, who did something that I had never seen at a local show before. They turned off the lights. Hey, who turned out the lights? And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Josh, from the past. Do you hear that? The percussive smack of rubber on wood? The annoying squeak squeak of sneakers? It must be basketball season. And guess what? Select a Ticket is here to save you some cash. Select a Ticket has the best seats and best prices available for any event, including concerts, Broadway shows, and of course, sporting events. Experience the difference with selectaticket.com and their all-in pricing with no added fees at checkout and no delivery fees. That means the price you see is the price you pay. Just for watching this video and for being part of Room 6 and for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get 10% off every purchase over $100 on merchandise and tickets to your next NBA game. Just enter coupon code NBA10 at checkout. Thanks to Selected Ticket for being a sponsor, and let's get back to the show. Needless to say, that made taking photos and videos challenging. <laughs> what you see on screen is the best I could get. Sorry. Anywho... Their set, on the other hand, was easy to enjoy, with blast beats and intense bass lines joining with the darkness to create an almost instant mosh pit, while the singer's guttural vocals and the band's dark-toned music washed over everyone. From one extreme to another, the headliners for the night were Memoir, who brought their own programmed stage lights and uh, fog machine. With a little atmospheric help from a laptop and elements of Screamo, this band put on a full production in the space of about 30 minutes. It was definitely obvious why they were headlining, and uh, not just from a logistical viewpoint. Their sound was tight and technical, and the crowd loved them. It was a great way to finish a great night of heavy, heavy music. Overall, this event opened my eyes to what Eagles Airy Hall had to offer in the way of live music. 
I met some great people who I'll be interviewing soon, so, uh, you know, subscribe. Make sure you stay tuned for that. And go see some local shows. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I hope that you'll check out all the bands. I've put their social media down in the description. If you're in the area of uh, Pacific Avenue and Basic in Old Town Henderson, swing by Eagles Area Hall. It's a pretty cool place. Uh, the members hall is different and uh, watch my review of that, you'll see. Uh, other than that, like I said, if you wanna be on the channel, hit me up. If you wanna see more videos like this, click up there. If you'd like to hear my own music, which is not metal, click over there. And if you would like to subscribe, I'd love you. Click up there and don't forget to ring the bell. Other than that, remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.